Send the, uh, an update on the injuries for Stafford's ribs, if there's any problem with that, or concussion protocol for... Yeah, you have to wait a week. So whenever the report comes back out again, we're obligated to give one. Are you concerned uh, about any long-term, anything that could be long-term for these guys? We'll see. Is it the timing good in respect of bumps and bruises, injuries, serious and not? Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, there, there's no question about it. We had quite a few guys got a little banged up during the course of the game. So um, it's like I mentioned yesterday, if we were playing a Thursday game, uh, it'd be really tough. If we were playing a Sunday game, it might be a, a, even fairly tough. So, so, um, but uh, this comes at a great time for us. Any uh, decision yet or anything pending on what you're going to do with Taylor Decker and the tough uh, good decision on him? Uh, not yet. Jim, do you feel with all those? Well, the second question, you said Taylor, what else did you say? Just any pending decision on Taylor. Yeah, you're not yet. Do you feel um, with all the tip passes, deflections, do you feel the offense has become predictable in that sense, at least the short passing part of the offense? No, you know, I just think that, um, you know, it's it's one of those unusual games, a lot of tip balls. I mean, you, you just look at the games, kind of changed a little bit. I think Ashawn has 10, um, you know, at, at, at such a young stage in his career. Um, Big John Henderson, we played when he was at Jacksonville, was a big tall guy in there, you know. So J.J. Watts, one that's done, you know, a great job of adjusting. I, I just think it was just one of those games. We play a lot of games around here uh, within the same system. Uh, and, um, you know, it was just unusual. It was just unfortunate. And they were all different ways that they handled. Maybe it was a lineman didn't cut his guy, his hands got up, he's supposed to get him on the ground. Maybe it was a launch angle, um, you know, those kinds of things. So it was a lot of different scenarios. But the great thing about it, even though it's difficult and wasn't pretty and we're not happy with it, um, it's correctable. Uh, so we, we'll, we'll go to work on that. They just want, they got just a, a big play, you know, with that big play that um, Ingram had. You know, and um, if that take that play out, it's, it's nothing, you know. So, but uh, he made a good play. Um, and uh, we just had to uh, scheme up better and, uh, and fit up a uh, fit the run up better. It seemed like they're rolling tackles out to block you guys on the edge. I mean, what? What, what else are you supposed to do when a 300 pound guy is coming at you? Move. <laughs> nah, man. Um, it's it's a lot we could do. Uh, you know, we just um, as a corners from my spec, I know I got to set the edge way better than you no. Know, but it was like I said, a 300 pound guy coming out there is pretty tough to move. So uh, and I don't really want him to fall on me. So. It's a lose-lose battle with that, even though it's a good thing for the team. <laughs> what was it like having to watch the dome today with the guy hurling in his head in the room there? It was, no, because guess what? I told Coach you got to pass it because we're not going to watch that. I'm not going to have all the asses on me right now. This is an important moment as a team, as a group. We got to group this together. It's not going to be all on Slay. So we skipped that play. But uh, like I said, I... Like, I saw him preparing to jump over, so that's why I stood straight up. I'm like, you're not going to jump on me like that. Jamal, first off, walk me through uh, your punt return touchdown. Oh, uh, that was, I got to get a lot of credit to punt return unit again. Um, you know, I don't think I was touched, and that's not because I did something crazy. Um, I was just running off their blocks. Um, you know, it seemed like the end zone, like, just ended up in front of me just because, you know, I got the ball, and, you know, I just see the blocks getting set up. Um, See Quandre waving me this way, and then Jalen waving me this way, and I'm just going off of them. So, you know, big shout out to them. Um, you know, it takes 11 guys for something like that, and we definitely got it on that play. What did you think that play did to the momentum of the game at that point? I think it definitely um, gave us a little bit more energy. You know, especially seeing GQ go down like that. You know, he's one of the leaders in our locker room, and seeing somebody like that go down, you know, we could have we could have folded, but that just says a lot about the type of team we have. You know, we had something else to play for. And, you know, fortunately, we made a play like that and, you know, gave us a little extra boost. What did the coaches say to you about that penalty at the end of the punt return touchdown? Uh, you know, they said good run, um, but you got to play like a pro. Um, yeah, that's a little, that's a learning lesson for me. You know, that's you know, something that shouldn't happen. Um. Four, Zach Center in the backfield for the Lions. Stafford complete. He keeps his feet and Golden Tate does what he does so well. All the way down. Jumping into the end zone, touchdown Lions, 45-yard score from Golden Tate. You have to be able to play man coverage right here. Excuse me, Golden Tate on the inside, and he beats number 20, Crawley. But Breeze back to pass with time, gets it off, and a big hit over the middle. 
Initially, that was Michael Thomas on the catch, but it's picked off. Day with anybody. I mean, he's as tough as they get. Now watch Michael Thomas. I think he might be down. He's down, then the ball is taken from his hands because they both had possession of the football when he is down. And from my understanding of... You're right about that. Second and 13 now for Stafford. Stafford rolling to his left, going deep for Jones. Jones hauls it in at the 40. He communicate, communicates the play to his lineman. Two wide receivers to his left. He's looking to his right. That's Jones in the end zone. What a grab by Jones. 50 ball. He sees Crawley on the inside, so you throw it to the outside back shoulder. And the adjustment made by Jones is tremendous. Look at that. That's just beautiful to watch. Great athletes playing a great game. You know, that's, that's Coach Caldwell's decision. No one else's. Breeze on third and 11. Dumps it off to Ingram. Ingram loses the ball. It's on the ground, and it is recovered by the Lions. Ziggy Onsett jumps on it for Matthew Stafford and these, these Lions. Uh, they move Mahalik over to left tackle. They move Mahalik over to left tackle. You are indeed correct. Over the middle, wide open. Touchdown, Darren Fells. Oh, that's guts, man. Yeah, good 26 yard return last time from Agnew. Looks like as he's driven back to the 26, he's going to have some room trying to turn the corner. Cuts it inside, one man to beat. Agnew could go the distance. Agnew inside the 20, and that's a touchdown for the rookie from San Diego State. Well, Jamal Agnew does a great job of setting it up, and one thing he does have is speed on the edge, and you lose outside contain, and there's no speed on that cover team. Art sportsmanlike conduct. Dividends for the Cardinals so far, the worst rushing team in football. Matthew Stafford throwing here, feeling the pressure. Dumps it off. It is complete to T.J. Jones. T.J. Jones out to the 45-yard line. Thanks for the Saints is definitely still with receivers to the left, two to the right. For the breeze is that pass is intercepted. A return for the touchdown. A. Sean Robinson. We've seen so many tip passes, and now the Lions get their hands on one. And how quickly things have turned here in the Superdome. Now watch A. Sean coming on a little stunt, just reading the quarterback and. How about the hands of the big fella? Getting in the end zone, that's a great play.